The students who had posed as tourists broke past presidential guards and rushed into the inner courtyard of the palace in Santiago. They then unfurled banners saying the offensive begins today. It was an apparent reference to their campaign for reform of the country's education system. One of them tried to chain himself to a window. More than 20 were eventually arrested. For months, the students have been complaining that Chile's government has failed to follow through on changes to the mostly privatized higher education system, including restoration of free tuition to all. It is not only the student movement, but the social movements and the majority of Chileans who have decided Chile is tired of waiting. Authorities say they tried to avoid casualties. What happened is not good, and obviously we have to take the right measures. I hope they don't prevent many students from coming here to see the presidential palace and understand Chile's history. The students say they feel they have little choice but to protest, accusing President Michelle Bachelet of ignoring their complaints in her annual State of the Nation address over the weekend. Clashes between police and demonstrators in the hours after her speech to Congress left one security guard dead. In response, President Bachelet said her government has provided free education to, quote, thousands of families and was working to improve the quality of their education. Against the backdrop of the protests, she says further progress had to be accomplished through democratic debate in Congress, not on the streets. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.